Hey guys, quick video. Um, just wanted to show you a little breadboard that I have set up. Now, this is the receiver node that I have set up on this breadboard. Um, just like how it's wired up, as shown on the GitHub site. Got the Arduino Nano, uh, the resistors, and the receiver back here that I've already done the SPI mod on. And what I use this for is so I can test the receiver just to make sure everything's running right before I um, wire it all together for the uh, connecting it up to the Raspberry Pi. One thing I will point out though is that I have this little button right here and over this yellow wire and it is hooked up to pin D3 and this acts just like the set trigger button that's on the GUI that I showed in the last video. Um, I put that in there and it's actually in the code now. I just forgot to mention it a while back. I don't have buttons on the group box because you don't really need it since you have it on the GUI, but this is just a neat way of um, giving you that functionality so you can test the receiver before you hook everything up. So um, what I have up here is the uh, code that's currently out on GitHub on the Arduino IDE and I've got everything powered just through this USB cable that is hooked up to my laptop here. So one thing I wanted to show you, and let me scroll up just so you can see how far down it goes. So if you scroll down right here, this slave address is what you need to change when you're hooking it up to the Raspberry Pi. Each receiver node needs its own address. And the second line here, this count, is how you set the frequency that you want the receiver to tune into. I know it's a little janky right now, but we'll make it a little more user friendly um, in the future. Anyways, you can load this up and I'm going to go ahead and hit upload here. And it's going to compile the sketch and then it's going to start uploading to the Arduino in just a second. See, there it goes. And you'll actually notice that there, the, some of the lights will start blinking on the Arduino saying it's receiving the data. Anyways, once it's done, it'll give you a little message there that says done uploading and you are ready to go. So you can come up here to tools, serial monitor, and it'll pull up this screen right here. This is a output page from the Arduino. And these are just a couple of things that I have programmed in, in here just so I can see certain points of data. But um, right now it's ready to go. It's um, waiting to uh, set the trigger. Right now the default is the trigger is set at zero, so it's not really doing anything. So I want to show you how that button works. So um, I've got my tiny whoop right here, and I'm just going to stick it up here. And let's see if I can get this in camera. So when I hit this button, it should set the trigger. There it goes. And it's going to go ahead and so it set the trigger at 248, and that start indication is that it read a signal that was above 248. And I've got the tiny loop moved away for right now. So when I fly by, there it goes. Let me try and scoot the mouse away. Sorry, I'm trying to video with one hand and fly with the other. Just fly by again, there it goes. So you can test to make sure each receiver node is working right now. So, and then right now when I just put the tiny whip right next to it, it's obviously going to start just catching times. And it's got a built-in five-second minimum lap. Um, so it shows you the lap time and it shows you what trigger value it's read. Let that run a little bit. But I just wanted to show you guys that. So you can set this up right now using the code that's on GitHub with that little button. And you can go out and test right now with a single node. In fact, you can you know, stick this out in your backyard and fly your quad over it and you'll get the same results that you have here. All right, talk to you later.